Hey folks and welcome to this weekly update of Azure News from myself, Sarah Lean. This episode was recorded on the 28th of June 2024. Now in the Azure portal, you can get a clear view of your extended security updates or ESU usage on your Windows 2012 servers. You can check for under-provisioned or over-provisioned licenses compared to the license cores with your linked servers. Now this provides a valuable summary to maintain licensing compliance effectively. So be sure to check this out if you're using ESU licenses. It is a feature that is considered public preview, so there probably will be changes to it in the future. Also in public preview is the new geo-replication feature for Azure Service Bus using the premium tier. Now this feature ensures that the metadata and data of a namespace are continuously replicated from a primary region to a secondary region. And it also allows promoting a secondary region at any time of your choosing. Windows Server 2025 has now been released in public preview and available for download from the Evaluation Centre. Now Windows Server 2025 delivers advanced security, new Azure hybrid features, a high performance platform for your existing applications and AI workloads, and also a modernized Windows Server experience. Now moving on to generally available features, when you create a new database through the Azure SQL database, the database compatibility level will be of 160, which is SQL Server 2022. You do have the option to change the compatibility level of a database if needed, but by default, it's now going to be set to 160. If you're utilizing Azure Database for Postgres SQL Flexible Server, you'll now see new recommendations within Azure Advisor that will help identify long running and orphan transactions, transactions that cross the wraparound limit, and any that are exceeding the recommended bloat ratio. Within Azure Load Testing, you can now download any of the reports as an HTML file so you can share it with stakeholders or teammates offline. Also available within the Azure Load Testing, you can now create and run load tests on your Azure Functions. And you can run these tests and view any runs directly from the Azure Functions Blade within the Azure Portal. Generally available within the Azure SQL Managed Instance product is advanced notifications. Advanced notifications allow you to prepare for planned maintenance events on your SQL Managed Instance resources. They alert you 24 hours before a planned maintenance event. Advanced notifications work hand in hand with SQL maintenance windows. With the two combined, you can gain control over when your managed instance receive updates and receive a notification ahead of time. The Shakir Studio now supports a new fault for Azure Event Hubs. This new fault is called Azure Change Hub State. This fault action lets users disable entities with a targeted Azure Event Hubs namespace, either partially or fully, to test messaging infrastructure for maintenance or failover scenarios for an application dependent on an event hub. This fault can be used within the Azure portal by designing experiments, deploying templates or using the REST API. Thanks for tuning in folks and please don't forget to leave me a review, share this podcast and subscribe on whatever platform you're listening on and I'll see you all again soon.